Oh, a grenade! Woo! <laughs> what? Get away from me! What's wrong? I don't want to be near you right now. You want to see it? No, I do not. Look. I do not want to be anywhere near you. What's up, guys? I'm Vortac, and welcome back to Stranded Derps. Today, I am solo, at, le or at, uh, at least for now. We'll be catching up with Mojo a little bit later. She's down by the, uh, the house at the moment. And I am looking to get into some kind of adventure today. So in the last couple of episodes of Stranded Derps, we have been desperately trying to find ourselves an airplane. And we can't do it. <laughs> we've been spawning in and out. Uh, well, we've been spawning in cars by blowing up other cars. We haven't checked the airport uh, just yet. I don't know. Mojo talked about maybe doing that. We'll kind of see if, if she comes up with anything. But for now, I decided I'm going to take a break from scouting for planes and head on over to the Liberator. Now, in the regular Russia map, the Liberator has people there where you can get quests from and things of that sort. And I would really love to try that out. And uh, I, I've messed with it a little bit in regular Russia, but not enough to actually carry out a quest. So we're going to go down there. We're going to see what kinds of quests the folks in the Liberator have to offer. And who knows, maybe earning some clout on this, uh, on this map will somehow earn us the, uh, the title of Aviator, and we can get ourselves a freaking airplane. According to my map, the Liberator is just ahead. It's just a short swim away. <laughs> now, if you've noticed, the, uh, the one thing about the Fest of Russia map is that you don't get frozen to death, which is kind of nice, because uh, I'm used to the Yukon, and just being outside is pretty cold. It's not as cold here. Unfortunately, though, the same does not go for the water. That is where you will find freezing temperatures. And it, I don't know where a boat is, so my only real option here is to swim across. So what I have to do now is kind of figure out how I'm going to do this without getting myself, uh, well, frozen to death. So let's see the supplies I have on me now. I have a couple of things of food. I have one dressing, which may help because my health is kind of low. And I have my gas cans, which I'm actually going to uh, empty into the car at the moment. Uh, it's not too well... Uh, get out of the car. It's not too well on gas. So let's dump these in here. And stop it! And I'm going to bring these with me, or at least one of them with me, to uh, the Liberator. Because I think there's a fuel tank on board. There, at least there should be. And I'm going to put this ammo box away to give us some extra space to take stuff with us. Uh, let's eat some bread. Uh, we could also use some beverage as well. I'll drink this delicious carton of milk that a friendly cow dropped for us. That brought my water all the way up. And I have a tomato and a piece of lettuce. And I'm not sure I want to eat them quite yet. I will also use this dressing. So there shouldn't be any hostels on the Liberator itself. Getting over there shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I just need to hurry. I can't dilly-dally. And then we need to find a suitable quest. The Liberator... Last time I checked, also had some stuff on it, too. So hopefully we can find some extra food and things like that. Holy crap, your health goes down a little bit faster than I anticipated. But luckily I used that dressing. I think we're going to make it just fine. What's that shield for? I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means uh, it's going to go down faster or something is protecting it because now it's stopped going down. Interesting. May oh, maybe I got in the range of the Liberator and it's like a safe zone. Oh... I bet you that's what it is. Okay, and we do have NPCs here. You guys were right. Those of you who answered that question from a few videos back. Oh, it's glorious. I am so I am so ready to serve my country. Okay, what do we got here? What's this guy doing? Talk. Welcome aboard. You should probably go talk to Captain Sydney on the bridge for orientation. So we got to meet Captain Sydney now. Security here is uh, very laxed. I will say that. My first impressions, security is very laxed. We get up here, no problem. There's a soldier with a gun. He, he pays us. No, never mind. It doesn't matter who we are. We can just jump aboard the Liberator. Uh, <laughs> they grill out once in a while. That's pretty cool. We got some Christmas lights. Festive Liberator. Uh, I don't think that's the captain. And uh, I understand that all of these tents feature people who have various quests, but we got to meet the captain first. And, ah, a fuel tank. This will help us get back home, which I'm, I'm going to guess is going to be a problem if I don't grab some fuel, so that is cool. I'm stealing from the military now, the Russian military. Uh, who's this guy? Hey, hey, do you need any pilots? As a matter of fact, we do need a pilot for our second jet, but right now we're on emergency fuel. 
Oh, ooh, yikes, this is awkward. <laughs> so they're reserved for very special circumstances. I'll keep you in mind. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is the jet. And this is the pl this is it. Like, we have to get this plane. I need this to be a thing. I need to fly this. So, as I understand it, ranking up is gonna be important for getting into that plane. So the captain's up there for orientation. I'm gonna check down here. There's some kitchens down here that I want to see. Where's that the jet I'd fly? There's some kitchens I want to get to because I need food. Well, look at these guys. They're pretty happy. We got some we got some snowmen who just enjoyed some food. They're having a little business meeting. We have a one-eyed janitor. I don't even want to know what he has to say. Can I just kind of like come in here and raid their stuff? <laughs> what you got in the kitchen? Nothing? What about you? Chef Leonard will cook anything. Well, oh, we'll cook does all the cooking. Okay. When are meal times? We serve breakfast at 0500 and between 0500 and 0800. Lunch, okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't think there's any times here on the server that at least not, they're not clear to me. Are you Chef Leonard? Ah. Our supplies come from farming locations. We've cleared other rations and what scavengers recover and occasionally a visitor trades with me. For example, Wallace, the pirate on the top deck, has been giving me fish. You seem nice. Let me know if you'd like to trade for a few supplies. I would. I'd like to trade. Okay. So I can sell him apple juice, candy. Ooh. And everything has a price. This is cool. Ooh, an MRE would be perfect. Uh, but he doesn't have any. It does, looks like he doesn't have anything. Right? I can sell him one apple juice. I'm going to do it. Uh, that's weird. I don't know how that works. All right, one of these guys is the captain. I'm going to assume it's you. Captain Sydney. Ah, hello. I heard there was someone new on board. I'm Captain Sydney, in charge of this vessel and aiding any survivors we come across. You're one of the first we've met. What's your name? My name is Vortac. Pleased to meet you, Vortac. Welcome aboard. Just keep in mind you're, you're back in society, so don't try to pull anything illegal. We're part of an international for force formed in the wake of the outbreak called the Coalition. Our mission here is to rescue many, as many survivors like you as possible and unite to re reclaim our home. Anything to report? Can I join the coalition? I'm sorry, but we don't recruit... Oh, okay, this is awkward. Come to think of it, we're looking for someone to help spread the word. Oh, you won't recruit me, but I can, I can spread the good word. Is that, is that so? First mate Lawrence. Fine, nothing to report. Is this the first mate? Commander Lawrence, good to have you with us. I've got a voluntary mission for you if you take it. I'll have a look. All right, so Commander Lawrence wants to get the Russian radio towers working again to broadcast any to any survivors out there. You'll need a toolkit, which he says Natalie down in engineering can provide. So I got to get the toolkit and fix the southern broadcast tower, northern and eastern broadcast towers. I get 75 experience and 5 reputation. Whew, this sounds like a project that could go over a couple of videos, but we're going to do our best. Let's accept the quest. All right, good luck out there with having experience in this area. I'm sure there won't be any complications. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Cool. There it is, on air, on the right there. We have to fix the broadcast towers, and uh, this is exciting. I haven't done any quests in Unturned yet, so this is really cool. Uh, now I could spend all this time talking to everyone on here, taking whatever quests they throw at me, but I don't want to overwhelm myself. I, I think we're going to head back out, uh, start to head home, and I I guess get to work. We have some broad... Oh, wait, I gotta go to engineering first. Ah, you must be Natalie. Literally the last person on the ship I could talk to. Uh, can I have a broadcast repair kit, please? That's not very specific. Do you mean like one of those radio towers online again? Oh, to get one of the radio towers online. Okay, here's a bag of some tools I expect you'll need. Okay, um, a bag of tools. Where? I didn't get a bag of tools. She gave me... What? I know I'm not going blind here. Give me the stuff. Oh. What? The squeaky motor gets the greets. The ship's engine has been rattling quite a bit recently, but Natalie doesn't have the resources to fix it. Can uh, If you can get them for her, she'll take care of it. So we need three metal bars, two metal sheets, and a wire. That seems easy enough. I will take this quest. Uh, I know I didn't want to overwhelm myself with more quests, but uh, that seems easy enough. 
But now I have to go into my quest log, which is somewhere, I believe under information here. And, ah, two quests. So we're going to do on air. And, yes, track it. Cool. But I didn't get a bag of tools. I, I guess what we're going to have to do is trust that Natalie put this on our person. And even though there's nothing in my inventory, uh, when I go up to the broadcast towers, I'll know what to do. Exiting safe zone is what just popped up on my screen, so I was right. A safe zone means we don't start uh, freezing to death, which is great. It was nice to actually be able to walk around without worrying about that. <laughs> so let's go up here, and uh, I got my trusty truck waiting for us. And let's see, uh, how much gas does it need? I know it, it, we're okay. We can definitely get back, but there we go. Better safe than sorry. I'm going to put this... Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I'm not going to put that away. And what I need to do now is, if I knew where one of these radio towers was, uh, I could just go there. I can go there from the map, but I don't. I know there's a southern broadcast tower, a western, uh, a northwestern, and a northeastern. So let's just say that the southern broadcast tower is probably not far away, considering I'm on the south side of the map. I'm going to do a really quick drive. Uh, so because we, we don't have too much gas around maybe this area that I'm circling with my cursor and See if there's a broadcast tower and if not, I'm just gonna head back home rendezvous with mojito and We'll see where we go from there because I don't know what she's got planned But maybe she was willing to maybe help me get some of these uh, Broadcast towers repaired so that must be one of them It's uh, it's basically right after you cross the bridge here getting off the liberator I drove around this road all the way up here and that, if that's not a broadcast tower, I don't know what is. I don't know why I wouldn't drive up to it. Start walking. Uh, let's drive up to it, and I don't think there's any hostels here, but uh, we'll, we'll proceed with caution. You never know. Don't roll away. <laughs> uh, okay, grab my knife, and look at this. All right. So again, we're, we're making the rash assumption that Natalie did indeed give us everything I need for fixing this tower. If not, I guess I could bang those two metal sheets together and, and saw the satellite dishes off the tower. Um, we have a snowman guarding it for us. That's kind of nice. Uh, oh, some glue. Okay, I'll take that. And uh, some nails up here as well. I'll take that. And here we go. Fix. Oh! Just, well, way to go, Natalie. We did it. Now the south broadcast tower is fixed. The only two left are the northwestern and the northeastern. So... Definitely a lot farther away than, uh, than this. Ooh, <laughs> this stuff's respawning pretty quick. <laughs> now we have a spotlight. Neat. So, great. We did it. We're one-third of the way there, and hopefully this will get us ranked up. I know there's achievements for ranks. I didn't know what they were until now. They, they have to be for the Russia map uh, NPCs. So this is awesome. I'm, I'm super excited to get this done. All right, finally back home. Well, look who it is. Hey! Come on in. Why'd you close the door? I don't know. What kind of... How do you greet someone <laughs> like that? I, I don't know. My brain spazzed. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, guess what? Chicken butt. No. You're so immature. You. I have a quest. I'm on a quest. A quest? Yeah. What kind of quest? I'm on a quest to fix three radio towers. I've already fixed one. Why are we fixing them? Well, they're broken. Oh, how do you fix them? You just walk up to them. I, I have what is called a bag of tools that Natalie gave me. You're a bag of tools. And <sighs> Natalie gave them to me, and I'm going around fixing radio towers with them. Let's do it. All right, cool. You don't really seem to care who Natalie is or where I got the mission, but that's fine. I ain't jealous. You're, you're just bad at improv. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so here's the thing. I don't know where I'm going. Where do you think you're going? Well, one's in the northwest and one's in the northeast. Northeast. So, like Cro Crovy area? Well, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm looking at... Uh, Should a, I get my bedroll? No, it's just a couple of radio towers. There's not really, they're not very hostile. I'm borderline radiation sickness. Do we, oh, by the way, do you have food? Uh, I have some, but I'm loath to share it. 
Well, I, I need food kind of bad. All right, all right, all right. Is, here. Is any grown inside? No. Of course not. Oh, thanks. Now I'm down to one potato and one carrot, so... Oh, good. So oh, we'll I have some nasty eggs. Do you want to eat these? Nah. I can't eat them anyway because I have radiation problems. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> you ate a butter. <laughs> butter? Bye. Wait, what? Okay, okay, okay. You just crashed my car into a tree. No, I didn't. <sighs> and if I did, I wouldn't care. I know you wouldn't care. <laughs> Well, one's okay, so northwest and northeast. I'm looking on the map and really they're just marked by like a little dot. Oh. So, like a little dot. Well, I guess I'm just going to assist you as the muscle because I don't see anything like that. I think the first place I'd like to check is uh Tomsk Farm. Tomsk Farm. Where it's, the heck is that? It's on the uh the west side of the map. Okay. Oh. Okay. I wouldn't say that's too far north, but it, it's a possibility. Well, the south one wasn't uh, the farthest south. Oh. It was actually pr pretty close. Uh, if right. you were walking, uh, driving around is kind of dumb, but uh, this won't be too far away to check. Let's go. Is this it? This is it, I believe. Tomsk Farm, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So here's what we need to do. There, Kill. The, I brought us here because if you climb up the hill, there is a tiny little dot, and I'm, I'm hoping that tiny little dot is a radio tower. So we're not looting the farm. We're not looting the farm. Ah. But I mean, we could loot the farm because <laughs> I'm worried that it's not a radio tower. We kind of could use some food anyway. Well, it's a farm. There's got to be food. There, It'd be ridiculous if there weren't. You would think there's food, but there's never any food. Ugh, but I'm hungry. There's this chocolate bar that's not that great. Uh, I can't afford the radiation, unfortunately. <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I just said I can't afford any more radiation. Ow. Oh, boy. Watch out behind you. Oh, my God, I'm screwed. We're all screwed. We're ah. screwed. Ugh. I'm going to die. I'm at 48% radiation, and there's nothing I could do. I'm at 24% health. Oh, God, go on without me. I, we got to sneak around it. Oh. Can I have those? Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna come, salvage them. Come on! I'm Cargo gonna make you. So, I'm gonna make you something. You're gonna make me something? Yeah, here. Actually, why don't you just take the dressing I have, and I'll keep that. All right, thank you. Oh my god. Ugh. What kind of farm doesn't have any food? It doesn't matter. I'm slowly dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check upstairs here. There's an arrow. There's two boxes of ammo. That's kind of nice. For you, you'll be around. Oh my gosh. There's a hat. There's uh, some shotgun. I sleep with shotgun shells in my bed, too. Um, <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all? And you kind of have to these days, guys. Uh, these are dark times. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, so we just have to head out now and see if there's a radio tower. It, it should be pretty easy to spot and easy to determine pretty quick. If we're not in the right place. Okay, hurry. I have I have terminal illness vortac. Terminal illness vortac. <sighs> That's your name. I'm staring right at what could be the uh, radio tower. It's a water tower. We so have to go through all this grain where no, there's zombies? we don't because it's a water tower. <gasps> what? It's not a radio tower. Oh. I was close, though. It was a tower. Just of the <laughs> water variety. Okay. So I was wrong. You're wrong. But the good news is we got more, uh, uh oh. Bandages? What's going on? This zombie. <laughs> he wants to rumble. He's dead. Saw, no. Shovel, pitchfork. Save me! Some pant. What? I need radiation medicine. Why? Because I'm slowly dying because my radiation's low. Just drink some, uh, chemicals. I don't have anything. I have nothing but water. Do you need a bandage? Well, that would help, but <sighs> it's only going to be a stop loss. Yeah, I don't have anything. You want a car jack? No, <gasps> but you need one. I can't pick it up anyway. It's glued to the floor. <laughs> it's Oh, it's a fake car jack. Yeah. It's not even a real car jack. It's a dummy car jack. It's a prank car jack. <sighs> Do you have a bedroll? No, you told me not to bring one. Why? I don't know why! Well, you were the one who knew your health conditions before coming out here. You told me not to bring it! 
You... I can't always just be babysitting you. Oh my god, just hurry up before I stab you. How much health do you have? 63. How much radiation do you have? 31. You're fine. I'm gonna die. No. I'm gonna die. I'm down to 30. Well, let's see what's up ahead here. Okay, do you have any pills in the back? What do you think this is? Military wagon? Yeah, but it doesn't have any stuff in it that I wouldn't... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you might have supplies in it. No. My bad. I mean, I have, a, like, a gas can. Some stuff like that. Ugh, it hurts in my bones. <sighs> Just be quiet. We're here. Okay, okay. <laughs> look. Look at this place. Oh, I'm scared. I'm gonna get bit. No, you're fine. I'm gonna get bit. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's like a train yard of some kind. Oh, great. I'm sure there's lots of medical supplies here. Probably not. Let's head back. Oh, God. Oof. Oof. Get us out of here. Well, I don't know what to do about your uh, medical problem. I guess we can head to St. Petersburg. Okay, go. Go. All right. There's a tree over there. Maybe there's a Christmas miracle for me under it. Y you want a Christmas miracle? I thought we had to get you food. or uh, Food? You don't even know what I need. You don't even pay attention. Oh, my God. I'm dying from disease, not hunger. I have disease. Hunger's a disease. There's a pharmacy near the tree. I've been here before. I'm going over there. Why did you come here? What do you mean? I, I just don't remember you coming here. I went here alone. Are you seeing somebody else? Uh, yeah. Who? A uh, zombie. I'll kill him. Yeah, get him. It's a her. Oh. Well, that changes everything. <laughs> Uh, so do you find anything? N not yet. I can't get to the pharmacy. Oh, this isn't the pharmacy? No. Why did you deceive <coughs> me? Ah! Careful! I can't afford any bites! You need to kill it! Well, I'm trying! Uh, get me in the pharmacy, please! Alright, here we are. We're in the pharmacy. Quit your whining. Okay, okay, just get the stuff! Ooh, morphine. I'll take that. <sighs> Practitioner, they gotta have something. Oh, a bandage. Stuff for you. That's great. That's great, Vortex. Do you want to try morphine? Whoa, 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 God. Please don't hurt me. I'm not feeling good. Pop him. Pop him. Put him in my mouth. Cough syrup? Oh, God, it wasn't enough. You want some cough syrup? Yes. Give it to me now. Don't worry. I'll take all the cough syrup. Vortex, give it to me now. Give it to me now. I'm working on it. I just need to take this cough syrup and taste test it. What the hell? <laughs> Hold it here. Come here. Ah. There you go. Chug I, it. Chug all the cough syrup. Ah, it feels so good. Whew. Okay, I'm calm. All right. Good. <laughs> uh, ooh. Purification tabs. I should probably take these. How much? What's your radiation at? Seventy-seven. Uh, yeah, mine's lower. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna go get a present. I want a present. Nope. They're mine. I got a detonator. Ugh. I got it. This one won't open. <laughs> a prank present. Oh, a grenade. Woo! <laughs> what? Get away from me. What's wrong? I don't want to be near you right you now. You want to see it? No, I do not. Look. I do not want to be anywhere near you. What? You need to get away from me right now. What are you going to do with that? I don't know. I just thought it would intimidate you. <laughs> no, we're on the same team. Ah, farts! <laughs> What's wrong? Don't come near me or I will shoot something. <laughs> hey, you open the present. I attracted a zombie. Run! Ah! Throw the grenade! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Oh my god! Look what you did! 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 You Look shot what you did! Look what you did! Look you shot the you gun! You did this! You shot the gun! You were throwing a grenade around! I was waving a grenade around. Same thing. No. Not even close to the same thing. <laughs> well, I'm going to eat a carrot. I'm going to take a bandage. There. Two can play this game. Oh, my God. Get us out of here. Oh, I could turn it into a dressing. Nice. Do we have any... F oh, no. Nothing good. I need some heat so I can cook some bread. Uh, you got some logs? No. You got an axe? No. You got a saw? No. I think I have a saw. I probably have a saw. I don't care. Let's go. Oh, there's gas. Whoa! What? I attracted some scum. 
All right. There's gas over here, and I know that we are actually pretty low because... Oh, oh here's my can. Because I didn't bring any. <laughs> <sighs> a carrot. Eat it. Ah, oh, it's a crappy carrot. What's, what's back here? Energy bar, crappy energy bar. Some clothes. Great, cool. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, oh I've dear. upset the mechanic. <sighs> He's gone. Don't worry. I'm not scared <sighs> of people like that. Great. People now, who <laughs> used to be people. What's going on out there? Nothing. I'm just dying. Okay. That's fine. Damn it. <gasps> you really died. Yeah, I told you. <gasps> no, I'm going to die. Don't you die. Did you die? No, I'm bleeding out, though, so hurry if you're going to do something. Look at you. You're back. Easy peasy. Uh, oh, you got a whole train of zombies to kill me. Yep. Great. Yep. I'm going to hide. That's what you get. You got to my ambulance? Why? I had to get back somehow. I found Natasha's diary. Is that your girlfriend? N no. Why is it next to your body? Uh, you got some splaining to do the way I see it. I don't know what you're talking about. Natasha. Who? Natasha. Not Natalie. No. Hmm. Nope. Don't know. <sighs> All right. Finally, back at my stuff. Oh, you finally decided to hobble over to your corpse? Yes. Took you long enough. You be quiet. My ambulance is here somewhere. I don't even know where you hid it. I put it next to the uh, the truck. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I think what we should do is still venture out together and then come back for it. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, cool. So I'm going to craft up a bandage because clearly I need them. Yes, you do. And I'm going to go back on my original mission and grab some gas. We still haven't messed with any towers, people. No, we haven't found a single tower. We don't know where to go, really. And uh, there's a car jack if you want. Uh, it must be just for you. <laughs> That's fine. Me here. I'll grab it. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's head to the vehicles. Okay. And try to figure out where the heck we're going to go. Let's stop in the pharmacy, too. I would like to have an extra cough syrup if one respawned in the amount of time it took you to get here. Fair enough. So checking out the map here. It seems that w one of these radio towers would make, it would make pretty good sense if it was at the military base, because there is a tiny little gray dot sitting next to it. Where? But next to Volk Military Base, to the I north. I don't see it. Oh, is that this? To the right of the military base. Yeah. Yeah, so that could be it. I'm not really sure. I'm sure everyone in the comments will know exactly where they are. Of but, course. Uh, I think we've been traveling a lot. We've had a rough day. Maybe we should... Uh, this was the roughest day. <laughs> maybe we should come back... Um, another time yeah i think we need to go get our bearings first yes so that's what we're going to do and when we return we're going to carry out the quest to fix the radio towers derp derp so thank you everyone for watching we'll see you next time see ya